Today in WWE 2K22, we are going to find out if Logan Paul and Jake Paul can win the WWE Tag Team titles in under one year. We are putting them on both the Raw and the SmackDown Tag Team division, in which the starting champions are the Usos. Let's see if they could climb the rank and win any of those titles. The first major event is the Money in the Bank. Let's see if they are booked on the show. We do have a tag team matchup as the Usos are going to be defending the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And on the main event, we do have Jake Paul making his debut in the 8-man ladder match. For the Money in the Bank, Jake might be trying to go solo already on the first event let's see who picks up the win here jake paul actually wins the money in the bank are you kidding me right now is he gonna challenge roman reigns we're supposed to be going for the tag team title jake so we're going to SmackDown because a lot of time in Universe Mall, the Money in the Bank briefcase holder cashes in on the weekly show and roman is on the main event we do have jake paul and Eric of the Viking Raiders going against the Usos? Why? Where's Logan Paul? And on the on the main event, Jake Paul is actually cashing in. Oh my god. Jake Paul is just going solo. Let's see what happens here. And the Usos pick up the win. And on the main event, Jake Paul wins the Universal Championship from Roman Reigns. Oh my god. Our second major event is a Backlash, and Jake Paul is kicking off the event taking on Big E for the Universal Championship. Jake Paul retains the Universal Championship against Big E. Meanwhile, Logan Paul is not even booked on the show. The horror show at Extreme Rules do feature a couple of tag team matches, including the debut of Logan Paul and Jay Paul as a team. They're gonna be taking on the New Day. The Usos retain the title, and the Paul brothers of Logan Paul and Jake Paul won their match against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, ending it with a vicious beatdown. They are working as a team right now, and Jake Paul is still holding the universal championship he just didn't defend it at this event at the SummerSlam pay-per-view we are kicking it off with another matchup because it is a rivalry match the Paul brothers are taking on the new day and the WWE or universal championship is not even being defended here the Pro brothers pick up a victory against the new day for two pay-per-views straight a third matchup between them is set up at the payback pay-per-view and the Paul brother picks up another victory. A vivid reminder of the hostile relationship between these two rivals. As Logan Paul and Jake Paul attack the New Day before the match. It is the Class of Champions event up next. I feel like the game forgot that Jake Paul is the Universal Champion. Because now he's just tag teaming with Logan Paul all the time. Let's see if on this event things changes. And oh my, it does. He is on the main event taking on John Cena. What a WrestleMania matchup this is. We're not even at WrestleMania yet. Your championship might end right here. This is a last man standing match. Jake Paul retains the title against John Cena, letting him know that you can't see me. At the Hell in a Cell event, the Usos are taking on the Viking Raiders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles inside the Hell in a Cell. And Jake Paul is taking on John Cena in a one-on-one -on -one normal match at this time around. I kind of want Jake Paul to lose the title already so that he could focus on the tag team mission. This man is going into business for himself. Jake Paul retains the title and beats John Cena again. At the Survivor Series event, Logan Paul is nowhere to be found, and Jake Paul is taking on John Cena once again. Something gotta give here, Cena. What is going on? Does Jake Paul have your number? Can you get it done this time? And John Cena takes the Universal Championship away from Logan Paul. I guess this time around, the attitude adjustment was just a little bit too much. At the next premium live event at TLC, Logan Paul, the former champion, 
and Jake Paul decided to take a break. They did return at the Royal Rumble and were part of the Royal Rumble match itself for a potential opportunity at a big title at WrestleMania. Unfortunately though, if they wanted to win, they had to go through Brock Lesnar and Brock Lesnar did not let that happen because the Beast walked out with the victory. At the Elimination Chamber and at the Fastlane event, once again, the Paul brothers were not booked on the show, but they were picking up some tag team victories on the weekly show Raw and SmackDown, which helped them climb the rank to potentially be number one contender at WrestleMania, which is up next. It is WrestleMania. This is their last chance. Hopefully, they made a comeback. They were doing pretty well on the rankings. Let's see what goes down. And on the opening matchup, they do get a tag team championship match. The Paul brothers are taking on the Uso 2 on 2 for the SmackDown tag team titles. What been happening? Jimmy and Jay Uso took the win in their non title match with huge implications. They're showing that they can beat Logan Paul and Jake Paul tonight. They can ride the wave of momentum into the tag team championship match right around the corner, which is at WrestleMania right now. Let's see if the Paul brothers could pick up the win. This is it. This is the one title opportunity that Jake and Logan Paul get in this one year challenge. Can they get it done? Gonna pick him up. Goes for the snap suplex. Jimmy's gonna fly here. Oh no, that is not good. Frog splash on Jake. And Logan Paul almost breaks it up, but it doesn't matter. Jake Paul kicked out. Are we gonna get the 1D already? Oh, Jake Paul is right there. They're gonna save his brother. Gonna pick him up. Fisherman suplex. He's looking pretty good right now. Logan Paul came in and he was helping out. Jay oh, we got a tag. Okay, okay. We need the Paul brothers to do something for sure. And Logan Paul. I think the Usos are going to still survive though. And Logan Paul taking a Jimmy Uso to the outside. Jay Uso in trouble. Oh, elbow to the guts here. Clearing some space. I'm trying to go for the slap. There's a super kick out of nowhere. Gonna go to the top rope too. Jake, you gotta help your brother. Don't just look at him. Oh no, there's the splash. He's gonna be able to... Ooh. Logan Paul still kicked out. Damn, Jake just got knocked out. No, not like this. Jake, you gotta wake up. I don't think Logan's gonna kick out again. Oh no, it's over. They had a good run, but the Usos are just uh, too dominant. That means that in this one year, we had our Logan Paul and Jake Paul winning three tag team matches and losing one of them. Unfortunately, the one that they lost was the most important one because it was for the championship. And in case you guys are wondering, I did continue this challenge into the second year and they did became champion. At Survivor Series, they finally got it done as they defeated the Viking Raiders for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. They couldn't beat the Uso though. Regardless though, insane year as we did have a Jake Paul winning the Universal Championship to kick things off. Make sure to subscribe and check out more of our WWE 2K22 one year challenges being suggested to you right now.